So in this video I'm going to show you how to do sharing from a team site. So what we need to understand firstly is that when it comes to sharing there are basically three ways that, docu uh, that information can be treated. It's either not shared, it's view only, or it's editable. Okay, so they're the generally the three options. Okay, and typically we have three different audiences when it comes to sharing. We have the person who created the information or the owner. We have our Office 365 contacts, so those who have Office 365 licenses, and we also have what's known as external users. So these are people with a free Microsoft account who can log in potentially to the account and get access to it. So the process of sharing information in SharePoint is controlled by user permissions okay so the first way that we look if we want to share a whole team site is that we go to the team site and provided we have the rights in the top right hand corner you'll see that we have the option to share so if we select this we will get a sharing dialogue that will appear now this will indicate to us at the moment who this is currently shared with so you can see here that the document is currently sorry the site is currently shared with one user. So I can go in here and I can invite anybody um, that I wish to share with. So if I, for example, put in an Office 365 user, you'll see that their name gets resolved and I can add them. So that's an Office 365 user. Now, what I could also do is I could also uh, share this with an external user simply by entering their email address. So again, this will share this document with an internal user and with somebody who um, has a, just an external email address. When they receive the invite, they will need to create a free Microsoft account if they don't have one. I can go in here and um, add uh, information about the site that I'm sharing. And you'll notice that down the bottom here, I can have the option to uh, send an email invitation which is generally what I want to do to provide people a quick link and by default I will be sharing it with the ability to edit which will mean that they can make changes and potentially delete documents. If I want to change that I can simply pull that down and select from the security groups that already exist. So in this case I'm happy with the ability to edit and I will simply go share. Now an invitation will be sent to those users directly and they will then be able to do that. You'll notice that that information here has been displayed up the top here um, and indicating that it's being shared. Now if I go back into my share, so I'm sharing again the team site, you'll notice that now it reports as being the additional user in Office 365. If I look at shared with, you'll see that I have the people who um, in my Office 365 that can access this site. Now the external user won't appear until they've actually successfully logged into the site. So once they've logged in, they will be then become a user that you can work with and uh, configure on this site. Now once I've done that, uh, that's for a whole site, what I want to be able to do here is to just share an individual item. So I can do this with a document, so what I'm going to do is I'll navigate to that item, I'll go to my document library, and I have a single document here. So what I'm going to do is select that, and then you'll see that I have the option here. Now when I select share, the difference here now is that I'm sharing an individual document rather than a whole team site. So what I can do is basically go in here and I can for example type in a user's name and it will do a resolution for me and uh, as it did before. Okay and what I can then do I can also share with an external user if I so desire exactly the same way as I did before and um, if that user is already accessed they will gain access and you can see over here I can choose whether they can edit or they can view by default. So what I'm going to do is just leave this to be view. Uh, again I can put a message in here so that when they receive an email they'll know what to do. Down here I've got the option to require a sign in so that means that users are required to sign in to get access to this document. Now if I uncheck this they will get what's known as anonymous access and can navigate to it directly without a login. I also have the share option available. Again the send an email invitation is now available. If I press share on that they will then send, receive an email. If they click on that link they will then get access to this individual document. Now 
I do have a second option available here which I don't have when I share a whole site. I have the ability when I share a document from a team site to create what's known as a view link and also to create an edit link. Now these links you can simply copy and paste and send out in an email so that when a user clicks on them they will simply display that file directly in the browser without having to log in. Now you'll notice here that when I do enable those links that a little another icon appears up the top here indicating that the share is now open to anybody with a guest link. So again I have a link here that I can create to allow users to view um, the document, just view it in a browser but also if I want to edit. So this means that I can share that information for that file anonymously directly from my team site. The third option that we've got is the familiar option that shows me who actually has access to this document within my Office 365 team site. You'll see that again I have the option to go to the advanced settings here which allows me to get more granular with the permissions in SharePoint and provide greater control over exactly what's happening. So with that, that's the simple way to share not only a team site, but also to share individual documents. So in summary, if you want to share a whole team site, we simply navigate to the team site and select share in the top right hand corner. We put in the person's email address, whether they're in Office 365 or whether they are outside or an external user. If we want to share just an individual document or an item or a calendar item or whatever, we navigate to that select that item and once again we select share. Now the difference is with an individual item we do get the ability to send an anonymous link that allows people to access it quickly and easily just by clicking on the link that's sent. When we do share you'll notice in the top here I get a summary of who actually has access to this item but if I want more granularity I simply go to shared with and then I can go to advanced. So that's how simple it is to share from a team site and also from items within a team site. So once again, thank you very much for watching.